Hi everyone, today I am bringing you a silver prom makeup tutorial using all affordable products. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. First, I'll start with the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminating Primer. I love this stuff, awesome drugstore primer. Next, I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is a European drugstore foundation, but you can get it from Walmart online. And I'm just using my Real Technique sponge to blend everything in and really push this into the skin so that it stays on for a long, long time. Next for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the neutralizer shade, which is a yellowy kind of toned shade, perfect for neutralizing under eye darkness, but also for highlighting the high points of the face. The only thing about this concealer though, is that you do have to kind of let it sit on the skin for a while. So you have to just kind of sit there and Maybe do like some dance moves to waste the time. I don't know, but something about letting the concealer sit on the skin just lets it set down and create almost like more tackiness. I don't know. It just is a lot better when you let it set down a little bit. Then to set that with a powder, I'm using the NYX Matte But Not Flat Foundation Powder. I like using a foundation powder to set my face um, even though I use like a regular foundation. I don't know, I just like a little bit extra coverage. So I use um, a light shade for under the eye and then a darker shade for the face. Then for contour, I'm using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I love this stuff, it's very, very smooth and I'm using a Real Techniques sculpting brush to apply. I'm also then taking it onto my forehead and I'll also use that to contour my nose. Then I'm going to clean up my contour, going back into the NYX Matte But Not Flat powder and just lining underneath my cheekbone and along my nose contour. I did my brows off camera so we can get right into eyeshadow. I'm going to use this shade here from Makeup Geek. It's called Peach Smoothie. And then I'll go in with Frappe which is a kind of taupey brown color. Put that all in the crease and then even carry it underneath the lash line, just making a really easy, blown out, smoky effect. And now for the star of the show. I am using this Maybelline Single Shadow in NY Silver. This is so pigmented and beautiful. I'm just using my finger to apply so that it comes off really, really pigmented. But then I'll also, oh, I forgot to kind of swipe away my contour cleanup, so I just did that quickly here. But I'm also going to take it with a brush and then spray with some setting spray to really intensify it and also just kind of carve out the lid. It's not like a cut crease by any means, but I wanted it to be somewhat sharp and highly, highly pigmented. So I'm just taking that here on a flat kind of concealer brush and blending that along my lid. Then I'll just take my fluffy brush again and make sure everything is blended. I'm going to amp this up even more with this NYX glitter liner in this silver. I'm using this for the inner corner and just really amping this up and making it a super, super silver glam look. I think it just takes it to the next level. I'm even going to use this silver shade on my brow bone, but lightly. I don't want it to be super, super intense, but I liked it and thought it kind of made the look come together. Then for lashes, I'm using this L'Oreal Superstar Mascara. I'm not gonna use the primer end, just the black mascara end. I'm going to use false lashes later, so this is really just to get the lashes ready for that. And I'm going to also line my waterline. I'm having serious problems opening this up. It's just a retractable black liner from Alme and just lining that top waterline to thicken up the lashes. I'm applying these wispy lashes from Ardell and then lining the top band area with this e.l.f. liquid liner to make sure that that lash band is covered. Okay, we are getting there, we are getting there. <laughs> Next, I'm using the Makeup Revolution blush in the shade Fusion. This is one of their matte blushes. It's like a peachy pink shade, I love this. 
Then I'll set my entire face with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and pat it in with my Real Technique sponge just to set everything down. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using a liquid highlight. It's this e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in the shade Lilac Petals. It's a pinky color and I'm just patting this in with my finger. This stuff is literally like a dollar, I think, and it is so, so pigmented and beautiful. It's really such a great affordable product. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. Then I'll just pop a little bit on the nose and the Cupid's bow, and then we'll go right in with lips. I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Natural, and then I'm going to be going in with a Revlon Liquid Lipstick in the shade Orchid. This is a very bright purpley pink color. You definitely don't have to wear such a bright color with this makeup look, but I just thought it paired really nicely with that highlight and I wanted it to be a little extra girly. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But other than that, guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.